23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. Good evening, I'm Katie Van Middendorp. Here's what's making headlines across the county. One man is dead after being hit by a car while riding his motorcycle in southwest Bakersfield last night. Bakersfield police saying they responded to the area of White Lane near Ash Road at around 730. After investigating, officers say that the driver of an SUV was making a U-turn when the motorcycle driver hit the passenger side of the car. The motorcycle driver was declared dead at the scene and the driver stayed on scene and is cooperating with the investigation. Alcohol and drugs do not appear to be factors in that crash. And Bakersfield Police Department receiving a cash injection to improve traffic safety. The department is receiving $433,000 from a grant from the California Office of Traffic Safety. It will go towards things like traffic enforcement and other operations to cut down on collisions, including DUI checkpoints, bike safety programs, and community education programs. And the ongoing drought across the West Coast is expected to impact the country's hydropower generation. Experts say it could cause complications because hydropower is used to fill for times when other renewable resources aren't available, like when there's less sun. Here in California, hydropower production is expected to drop by about half this year. And obviously the big story of the day, those strong winds we've been dealing with. Current wind gusts here, 38 miles per hour in Bakersfield. We've seen them over 40. 40 to 50 in parts of eastern Kern. We've actually seen some wind gusts up to 80 miles per hour through the mountains and into the desert today. Just extremely strong winds, blowing dust, travel concerns, lots of problems, including some enhanced fire danger with this moving in. Those winds staying strong through the early evening, starting to die down tonight. Breezy tomorrow, but overall a nicer day. 66 degrees your high temperature in Bakersfield, so we're still fairly cool for tomorrow. And also some overnight lows below freezing for our mountain communities. Just a busy day today. Calmer for the rest of the week. Things are looking pretty good. Slowly marching up towards the 80s by the weekend, which is really just about average for this time of year. A very nice calm week after this very busy start on a Monday. 7 day forecast for our mountain communities. Again, some temperatures in the 50s the next couple of days. And those overnight lows below freezing for a couple of nights for the South Mountains. That's your latest news and weather update. For the latest update anytime, be sure to head to our website, turn23.com.